Mike Tyson is an icon. If you're ever part of boxing, you want to be part of some of the largest fights in history. For me, at that time, it was Mike Tyson. Humans have always done this to each other and for all of human history. The right. strong groups of men with weapons invade. Can you deal with that for eight rounds? That's the difference. Can you endure it? People that aren't prepared and they take all their stuff and they conquer them. I mean, it's always happened. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Oh my God. The baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson. The hardest hitting puncher that I ever saw. Mike Tyson still has speed and he definitely has some power. Jake Paul is going to lose. I think he might be making a mistake. The worst. When he hits you, if it's his head, his body shots don't matter. Everything hurts. When I was in training for him, I was, I was up in um, California, PA. Mm. I walked by the mirror and I stopped and looked at myself. <laughs> <laughs> He was coming up. And I was like, okay, I will either like to be with Mike or across the ring from Mike. Yeah, I'm across the ring. Do you want to see it if Mike Tyson wins? Mike can close the distance in a way that he doesn't expect. And Mike also has layers upon layers of attacks. Mike Tyson is the best heavyweight of all time. I don't think anybody fucks with him. Tyson is going to bring Mike Tyson. That are in his mind, he's forgotten more about boxing so than Jake Paul has ever remembered. Decision of his career. Mike Tyson's always Mike Tyson. Like you said, people have a plan until they get punched in the face. But when did this whole thing start? This little bit of dude, <laughs> finna fight you. you finna go fight him? <laughs> yeah. So I, I was tripping. Cause this dude, you, you don't know, never know what this guy be thinking. God damn. I'm gonna make history on the biggest streaming platform, Netflix, in front of the whole world. Everyone's doubting me. Everyone's saying Mike looks like a beast, and he does, but I'm fueled by Celsius. First of all, no one else can do this but me. The greatest boxing match in the history of boxing, and it's because I'm a part of it. When you get out there, you look at Mike, you have a, you know, an understanding of who and what Mike is, but you don't realize that that little sad, sad movement, which I never thought a lot of before, and seeing a vision of me and Mike Tyson fighting, it was it was certainly gonna happen. Like, I could feel it in my bones. I could see the TV. I saw the next day how many millions of kids went to boxing gyms, and I saw that the next Mike Tyson was birthed out of this event. It's, it's the, the most common thing is war. It's constantly happening from the beginning of time, as early as we know, tribes were battling other tribes. Shot, Mike! Excellent! Nice left hook! Up, up. Ooh. We're done. The job is over. We're done. Four, three, two, one, and five! Oh! Yeah. You really have a hard time hitting him with that, you know what I'm saying? So that was probably the most fascinating thing to me, the fact that he still could dodge punches the way he could. I feel like I got something to fast his hands and box him. Just putting the game plan together, putting the speed to it. His IQ is just growing rapidly. So just making everything sync together is what we've been working on. Humans have always done this to each other and for all of human history. The right. strong groups of men with weapons invade people that aren't prepared and they take all their stuff and they conquer them. I mean, it's always happened. Then I switched everything to uh, two minute rounds, 30 second rest. And now he see how fast everything goes. Yeah, I'm thinking no way in the world he can dodge my punches. Right. But he was. First time he hit me in the chest, <laughs> like, you had keep me in my chest. For real? Oh my God. This dude still did it. At that age? Yes, at 57 years old, I said, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> He's bigger, but he still moves like he is 168 pounds. That's a heavyweight nightmare. Because Mike has what it takes to get anybody out of there. And I'm gonna tell you this. When I boxed him four years ago, it was only two minute rounds, but surprisingly, he never really declined. He stayed the same the whole fight, and that surprised me.
humans have always done this to each other and for all of human history. The right. strong groups of men with weapons invade people that aren't prepared and they take all their stuff and they conquer them. I mean, it's always happened. When he hits you, if it's his head, his body shots don't matter. Everything hurts. When I was in training for him, I was, I was up in um, California, PA. Mm. I walked by the mirror and I stopped and looked at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see it if Mike Tyson wins? Mike can close the distance in a way that he doesn't expect. And Mike also has layers upon layers of attacks that are in his mind. He's forgotten more about boxing so than Jake Paul has ever remembered. This little bit of dude, <laughs> fight him. you finna go fight him? <laughs> yeah. So I, I was tripping. Cause this dude, you, you don't know, never know what this guy be thinking. First of all, no one else can do this but me. The greatest boxing match in the history of boxing, and it's because I'm a part of it. When you get out there, you look at Mike, you have a, you know, an understanding of who and what Mike is, but you don't realize that that little sad, sad movement, which I never thought a lot of before. It's, it's the, the most common thing is war. It's constantly happening from the beginning of time, as early as we know, tribes were battling other tribes. Shot, Mike! Excellent! Nice left hook! Up, up! Ooh. We're done. The job is over. We're done. Four, three, two, one, and time! Oh! You really have a hard time hitting him with that, you know what I'm saying? So that was probably the most fascinating thing to me, the fact that he still could dodge punches the way he could. I feel like I got something to fast his hands in boxing. Humans have always done this to each other and for all of human history the right. strong groups of men with weapons invade people that aren't prepared and they take all their stuff and they conquer them I mean, it's always happened yeah i'm thinking no way in the world he can dodge my punch right but he was first time he hit me in the chest <laughs> like, you had keep me in my chest for real oh my god this dude still did at it that age yes at 57 years old i said oh my goodness okay <laughs> because mike has what it takes to get anybody out of there and i'm gonna tell you this when I boxed him four years ago, it was only two minute rounds, but surprisingly, he never really declined. He stayed the same the whole fight, and that surprised me. So if they're doing two minute rounds, Mike's not gonna tire out. I already know that because I watched him do it. No, I don't fear for Mike and how old he is. Mike's a very rugged guy. You know, when I was in there with Mike, Mike still was hard to hit, and Mike still can hit hard as hell. So no reason to really fear for Mike. People don't realize how much is sacrificed in the camp, and Jake sacrificed a lot to get ready for the last fight. On top of releasing his the new brand W, and so he needed a break, and so we took a month off, got right back in there, and now we're getting ready for Mike. And uh, we're not as heavy as we were before, which is a plus for us. I didn't want us to go back up, but you can guarantee he's gonna be ready to fight now. Yeah, M Mike's hard to read. He is a man of few words. A lot's going on on the inside, but he doesn't always say what, what he's thinking. And it's hard to tell. But I know that come fight night, it's going to be the old Mike Tyson, the warrior Mike Tyson, getting back to doing what he does best, which is annihilate people. When you've done that for so long, it's going to be second nature for him when the bell rings in the Dallas Stadium. Mike. I love you, man, uh, and boxing thanks you for all you've brought to the sport. You're an icon, you're a legend. I look up to you, I'm inspired by you, and I know you're gonna bring an amazing fight and put it all on the line, but no matter what you do, you can't beat me. It's a passing of the torch, and with the utmost respect, I'm gonna fuck you up. Mike Tyson is stepping back into the ring. But this time, it's not just for a few exhibition matches or for nostalgia. No, Iron Mike is gearing up for one of the most talked about fights of the decade. His opponent? Jake Paul. Yes, you heard that right, the YouTuber turned boxer is about to face one of the greatest to ever do it. Tyson, now 58, isn't just training to fight, he's training to dominate. Yes. Yes. But the real question is, can a 58-year-old Tyson, who hasn't fought in nearly 20 years, really take on a 27-year-old Jake Paul, who's been grinding in the boxing world and building his own legacy? Can the former world champion, 
who once held the youngest heavyweight title in history, still unleash the ferocity and power that made him a legend? Or is Jake Paul the next generation, ready to prove that the young lion can take down the old king? Let's break down the drama, the training, the mindset, and the fight that has the world on the edge of their seats. This is a clash of titans, of a man who's fought the best in the world against a man who's still fighting to prove himself. A fight that isn't just about skill, but about legacy. Chapter 1 Tyson's Comeback The Ultimate Challenge Mike Tyson's journey back to the ring is a story of grit, determination, and a refusal to accept that age can dictate his legacy. When Tyson announced that he was coming out of retirement, most people were skeptical. How could a man who hadn't fought professionally since 2005 possibly compete at the highest level again? But Tyson's comeback wasn't just a one-off exhibition. No, Tyson wasn't here to just show up and throw a few punches. He was here to prove that the fire that once burned in him was still alive. Seven, expect the biggest eight, fight of the history. Why? Because we talk about Mike Tyson. We talk about Netflix, live on Netflix, something that never had before. It things like that you just can do with men like Mike Tyson. or I really hated someone. Now, it's just completely different. Now I'm just on a path to world champion. You know, I've made the money, I've knocked people out, I've earned the respect, I've been on the covers of magazines, I've created records and history and one knockout of the year. So now it's more... Mike's a cold-blooded assassin. He's a machine. There you go and Jake has not come up against that. It's a dark place in there, that ring. A lot of things can happen. Mike is the baddest man on the planet. Raphael is the baddest trainer on the planet. You can see, you can feel. When I put Jake in deeper waters, where let's make you feel uncomfortable the beginning to the end of the fight. What did you initially think when you heard that Mike Tyson was gonna be getting the, in the ring with Jake? I was thinking that Jake Paul was gonna be in trouble because, you know, Mike Tyson knows how to throw great body punches, great headshots, and, um, you know, we, can ju we just have to see if he's gonna do them in the ring. I'm hoping that he'll do that. It's um, a task. You know, it's, it's hard to box at, uh, when you're that old, moving around the ring, throwing punches, getting punches thrown at you. But I, I think he can handle it. For me, and to prove to young kids what is possible when you really set your mind to something, and that's more so what I'm focused on. So it's, it's definitely not as exciting, and there's not as much glitz and glamor around it anymore. And it's, I would say, more this so is the hardest life. camp, just sparring. 300 pound guys back to back and doing the jogs, you know, weighing 220 pounds, all the miles, all the work at the track is a lot more difficult than running around weighing 205 pounds. So this is definitely the hardest I've pushed myself mentally. Shot, Mike! Excellent! Nice left hook! Up, up. We're done. The job is over. We're done. Four. Three, two, one, and time! Oh, hey. oh. Hey, boy. Oh. Hey, boy. Good. Good. All those All rounds. Six for 12 reps. 2.33 today. Contact for 2.30. 12 is all we need. I'm over there, 225, 228. Lean, oh. mean. Big Lean chest. Mean. Oh. One, there we go. Two, Ooh. three, Ooh. four. Good work. Eight, four more. Nine, Nine ten, ten, two more, Mike. 11, 11 and 12. 12. Uh, Love it. First time we've done that. Tyson's training camp has been unlike anything we've seen before. This isn't the casual gym routine you might expect from a 58-year-old man. This is hardcore, next-level, everyday grind that would push even the most experienced fighters to their limits. 
Tyson has been working with some of the best trainers in the world, refining every aspect of his boxing skills from footwork to timing to power. You really have a hard time hitting him with that, you know what I'm saying? So that was probably the most fascinating thing to me, the fact that he still can dodge punches the way he could. Well, I feel like I got something to pass his hands in boxing. Like he's excited. He wants to be there. He wants to one more time entertain people. He's a fighter, but he likes to entertain people. It is what he fights for. He fights for all those people he, he can see in the street. The people come to him and say, you are the people's champ. Despite his age, Tyson is moving with incredible speed and precision. People who know him best say that they've never seen him in this kind of shape before. He's not just going through the motions, he's attacking every workout with the intensity of a man half his age. His strength, his agility, and his discipline are evident. Tyson is back, and he's determined to make his mark one last time. Chapter 2, The Mental Edge Tyson has always said that boxing is as much about the mind as it is about the body. The mental preparation, the discipline, and the mindset needed to win in the ring are just as important as any punch or technique. And Tyson knows this better than anyone. He's been through it all fame, fortune, loss, and redemption. He's faced the highest highs and the lowest lows, and through it all, he's learned that controlling his mind is the key to his success. Tyson's mental routine is just as intense as his physical regimen. He starts each day with meditation and deep breathing techniques, helping him center his mind and focus on the task ahead. This is his ritual before every training session. He's not just training his body, he's training his mind to be as sharp as his fists. Visualization is another key aspect of Tyson's mental prep. He's always been a believer in the power of mental rehearsal. Before any fight, he imagines every punch, every movement, and every strategy. In his mind, he's already won the fight. Hey, come on, Mike! There we go! Yes! 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 yes. And this mental strength is what Tyson believes will give him the edge against Jake Paul. To be in the gym from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every single day. One, two, three, four, five. The fight is already won in his mind, and all that's left is to execute it in the ring. Five, six rounds. Why you wanna do five, six if you knock him out before? If it was the fight, the fight was over. The fight was over. The more, more you do is just extras. Michael home today, happy, confident, and knocking out. I did my thing. Now he's gonna do conditioning. Can you imagine one more round, you're gonna feel tired, exhaust. No, we did four, and now we go to do something else or not. Chapter 3, The Physical Grind. Let's talk about Tyson's physical preparation. This isn't just about going through the motions at the gym, this is about pushing his body to the absolute limit. Tyson's trainers say that he's in the best shape they've seen him in years. His conditioning is off the charts. He's running miles, hitting pads for hours, doing explosive plyometrics, and training his core strength like never before. So when the media says, oh, what about the age 58? I say, he does moves that remind me of when he was 20, 25. That makes him younger than Jake. <laughs> <laughs> the key to Tyson's success has always been his speed and power. He may not be the youngest anymore, but he still got the quickness that made him a feared heavyweight champion. His explosive combinations and his ability to move in and out of range have been refined to perfection. He doesn't just throw punches, he throws punches with purpose. Every strike is calculated. Every jab is strategic, and every hook is meant to do damage. Tyson is a true master of the art of boxing. The focus is also on his stamina. Tyson knows that in order to go the distance, he has to have the endurance to keep up with the younger, faster Jake Paul. So he's been training with a focus on maintaining his energy in the later rounds, where many older fighters start to falter. Tyson's conditioning team is pushing him harder than ever before, and the results are showing. Because Mike has what it takes to get anybody out of there. And I'm going to tell you this, when I boxed him four years ago, it was only two-minute rounds, but surprisingly, he never really declined. He stayed the same the whole fight, and that surprised me. So if they're doing two-minute rounds, Mike's not going to tire out. I already know that because I watched him do it. You know, I don't fear for Mike and how old he is. Mike's a very rugged guy. You know, when I was in there with Mike, Mike still was hard to hit, and Mike still can hit hard as hell. So, no reason to really fear for Mike. Twelve, twelve rounds. Chapter 4, Jake Paul's Rise to Boxing Fame Now let's talk about Jake Paul. 
The YouTube star who turned professional boxer has been making waves in the boxing world. Love him or hate him, Jake has proven that he's not just some social media personality trying to cash in on the boxing craze. He's trained relentlessly, improving with every fight, and has knocked out some pretty formidable opponents. But the question everyone's asking is, does Jake Paul have what it takes to beat Mike Tyson? Jake is the younger fighter, and on paper he's got the advantages of youth and athleticism. But Tyson has years of experience in the ring, and he's faced some of the best fighters in history. Jake Paul may be confident, but can he handle Tyson's raw power and experience when the bell rings? Jake's approach to the fight has been to stay calm, stay focused, and rely on his boxing IQ. He's been studying Tyson's old fights, looking for weaknesses, and developing a strategy to avoid Tyson's devastating punches. Jake knows that Tyson still has the speed and power that made him a champion, so he's planning to outbox him, stay on the outside, and use his footwork to avoid the big punches. It's a risky strategy, but it's one that Jake believes will give him the best chance to win. Chapter 5. The Fight Buildup As the fight draws closer, the anticipation is growing. Tyson and Paul are polar opposites in many ways, but they share a deep respect for the sport of boxing. Tyson has been through it all championships, losses, comebacks, and even prison. He's fought legends like Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, and Buster Douglas. Jake Paul, on the other hand, is still building his legacy. He's had success in the ring, but he's yet to face a true heavyweight legend like Tyson. There's a psychological element to this fight that goes beyond just the training. Tyson has been a master of mind games throughout his career. He knows how to get into an opponent's head, and he's using that experience to his advantage in this build-up. Jake Paul, however, is no stranger to the mind games himself. He's used trash talk and bravado to build his brand, and now he's using it to hype up this fight. Both fighters know that this is the biggest fight of their careers. For Tyson, it's a chance to prove that age is just a number and that he can still dominate in the ring. For Jake Paul, it's an opportunity to cement his legacy as a serious boxer and silence his critics once and for all. Chapter 6, The Final Countdown November 15th is approaching fast and fans around the world are counting down the days until the two men face off in the ring. The question on everyone's mind who's going to win. Is Tyson going to remind the world why he's considered one of the greatest boxers of all time? Or will Jake Paul defy the odds and prove that he's more than just a social media star? Both fighters are locked in, both are focused, and both are ready for war. This is a fight that will define their careers, and fans can't wait to see who comes out on top. So, now it's your turn. Who do you think is going to win? Are you Team Mike or are you Team Jake? Is Tyson going to remind the world of his dominance, or is Jake Paul about to prove he's the future of boxing? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates as we count down to the fight of the century. This is Quick Rundowns where we break down the biggest moments in sports, entertainment, and pop culture. You don't want to miss what's coming next.